Good day learners, welcome to today's video. In this one, we're going to be looking at how to insert a VLOOKUP with a function inside of that VLOOKUP function. Okay, so I'm using the 2023 final and here you can see in 6.9, they asked us each racing column B. Now here's question six. So we're going to open that up and we want to read as we go along. Right, so each racer in column B, and we are in the races worksheet, first of all. So there's the races worksheet. Um, let me just enlarge that. What do they say to us? Each racer in column B, so there's column B, has their country code in front of their name. And there you can see it, country code and name. Using appropriate functions, display in column E, so there's column E with a country, this one over here. What do they want me to display? Um, display in column E which country each racer is from. A list of country codes and full country names is available in the codes worksheet. So let's go there. I'm just going to zoom into that. Uh, the first entry has been provided as an example of the desired answer. Okay, so let's go and have a look at this. And we see there Argentina and they haven't got a formula in there. So yeah, you can't just copy paste that. Okay, so let's use the first one. Now, remember when it comes to VLOOKUP, what needs to happen? We need to have a lookup value. This is something that's going to be present in column B and it's got to be present in this worksheet. Now, do we see that here? Let's see the races. That second one is USA. Codes, do we have that? Is USA there? Yes, it is. And we're wanting to use the lookup value here to match it up with USA over here and extract United States so that it can go over there in column E. All right, so let's go and look at how to do this. And we're going to take this step by step because this is a five mark question. Okay. Now I'm going to go to formulas. I'm going to go insert function and I'm going to choose VLOOKUP. So yeah, I've got a few options. What's my lookup value? That is my lookup value over there. Okay. Now here's my first problem, but we're not going to worry about that. Let's go through everything first. Whatever my lookup value is, what is this table array? The table array is the range of cells that I'm going to be taking my lookup value and putting it against in order to find the information or extract the info that I need. Where's that info? It's sitting in the codes worksheet. You see what happens there? And then I'm going to highlight this whole range of cells because this is where I want my VLOOKUP to go and check. I want it to match up and then the column index number that is going to be, well, in this table array, what is it that I actually want to extract? And you can see this is column one, this is column two. Do I want the info from, from column one? No, I want the info from column two. So I'm just going to type in two there and then we want an exact match. So I'm just going to go false. Now, we are going to have a problem with this and that's okay, right? So I'm going to click OK. You see it says not applicable there and we can have a look at our formula. Now, the problem does not exist with referring to the codes worksheet, the range, the second column. No, the lookup value is the problem. Why is that? Because in this lookup value, can you see it's USA, Ricky, Brabeck. But when I go to my codes and I look at what I'm matching it up against, it's only USA. So what does that mean for me? Because already here I'll get marks for this, right? What this means is that my lookup value needs to change. And this is where a function comes in because I now need to put in a function that's going to extract from the cell U, S and A. Now, if I use left and I use right, it's not going to work for me. So the function that I'm going to use here, and I'm going to take this out, is mid. 
Okay? Now, if you look at the screen there, you'll see it says mid, and then where do I want this whole thing to start? In which cell? Which cell am I referring to? I'm still referring to B2 over there. So I'm going to take that out, and I'm going to type in B2. Oh, sorry, B3. Now, what do I need to do after that? Put in my semicolon, then they're saying, starting number, where am I starting? And I'm starting at character number two. That's with the U. And how many characters do I want? I want three. So in other words, I wanted to start at U, and it must go U S A. Okay, I'm going to close my bracket and I'm going to hit enter. And there you go. United States. So you can have a look at the formula, maybe up here in the uh, formula bar. And there you can see what did I do? I went through the whole VLOOKUP going formulas insert function. I did that first. Even though it comes up as not applicable, it's fine. I can insert my function afterwards. If you're more comfortable typing it out, that's all fine. Now, you know how it goes. If I go like this, sometimes it doesn't always work because I need to do what? I need to make sure that my absolute referencing is in place. And remember, I can just click in and I can go F4. Uh... Again, doesn't change my answer, but that's usually what they want you to do. And then copy it all the way down once you've got that. And there we go. Sorted. And that's how we insert our VLOOKUP function with a function inside as well.